is gonna be a little bit more serious of a video than my usual ones because I don't know where I'm going. I don't have a conclusion. I don't have a script or anything. This is basically just me coming up with these thoughts off the top of my head. But I've been thinking about how, especially in like the American society, happiness is probably one of the most valued things and one of the most undervalued things. Everybody wants to be happy. That's kind of what everybody is working towards. It's why a lot of people spend 40 plus hours a week doing a job from nine to five that they probably hate. Just, just, that, that's apparently the way that society is so that they can earn money, so that they can do stuff they actually enjoy so that they can be happy. And our brains love happiness. We, we crave the, the uh, dopamine rush. We all are trying to get happy. You know, in my life, that's what I'm constantly striving for, to be happy, to be joyful, to be positive and optimistic. And that's why I think it's probably one of the most valued things of society is because people are sacrificing so much to get it. But I also think it's one of the most undervalued things in society because people are sacrificing so much to get it. Why are people spending so much time per week doing something they absolutely hate? It's so that they can get money to be able to do stuff they absolutely love. I get that. So here's the thing. Yes, there's okay, there's technically an upper limit as to how much money you can make, but it's like so insanely high that you're not gonna get there, let's be honest. There's a very finite amount of time that you have in your life. And the problem with life is that you don't know how much of it you have. And that's why I don't really like the idea of working my entire life to be able to afford retirement. Because I don't know if I'm gonna live to get to be retired. Especially with my clumsiness. Now, I'm a very artsy person. Design and color mean a lot to me, as you can probably tell from these videos. I'll spend hours and hours trying to get the lighting exactly right for videos. Why do you think I'm constantly changing things on the channel? I don't have like a consistent setup. I've tried that and it changes after like two weeks. And that's because making things look good is what brings me happiness. I can fiddle with this stuff all day. You know, I cannot go for 10 minutes straight on without having a breakdown is math. I'm not a mathy person. I am absolutely not a mathy person. I detest math in any way, shape, or form. Unless I'm using it to do what I love to do, which is why I don't want to be a CEO of a company. So I would, that would be, a, that would be a nightmare. Sitting at a desk all day working on Excel spreadsheets is not the life for me. I would, I would much rather be hands on physically doing stuff with the camera, trying to make stuff look good through trial and error. That's the kind of person I am. And that's what brings me happiness. And that's what I want to do with my life. Now, will the CEO position pay a lot more? Yes, it definitely will. Will that extra money mean I'll probably be able to live better? Yes, absolutely. I recognize the fact that doing this will not make me a lot of money in my life. I'm okay with that. So I won't have a nice car. So I won't be going to Disneyland every other year. I don't need any of that extra stuff because what I'm doing right now brings me happiness. If I won the lottery and I did need to work for the rest of my life, you know what I would be doing every single day? This. Screw a Lamborghini and a mansion in Hawaii. I want to be doing this. I love doing this. I'm going to be doing these in my room because this is what brings me happiness out of life. This is the activity that I am so incredibly passionate about. I've been passionate about video my entire life. It's, this is definitely what I was made to do. This is in no way the direction I thought this video was gonna turn out. I was gonna bring it down a completely different way, but I'm gonna run with this, darn it. Let's see where this goes. Everybody has something like that. We were all made to do something. We all fit as like a cog in a big machine that is life. An enormous clock. It's like an enormous clock. Yes, precisely. And I know that being homeschooled allowed me to discover how much I love this. And I think honestly part of the problem is that we're raising millions of kids in a system that basically teaches them that money is the end goal. Now, I'm not going to bash on public schools and I'm not going to bash on money. I'm fine with people making a lot of money. That's good. But what really annoys me is when kids are only exposed to like what? The seven subjects that are taught in school and not the thousands upon thousands of other Stuffs to learn? Not only learn, but to fully explore. Side note, as children, we are taught very strongly that math and business is vastly more valuable than the arts. Think about this, if you're skilled with math, but awful at art, people will say, oh, well, that's just not your gift. But if you're incredibly skilled at art, but you suck at math, let's be blunt, people are gonna say, you're lazy, you need to try harder, or you're stupid. And to be totally honest, with enough practice, you can become incredibly skilled at art, even if it's not your gift. It may not be a passion, but you can get better at it. This is math, you do kind of need to have a certain kind of way of thinking. So really, it should be the other way around. But the problem is, we artisty people are told that the life of an artist is painting things in their basement and then selling those and hoping people buy them. No! Especially not in 2016, which I am convinced this is definitely the best time in human history to be alive. Because the art world isn't split up into painters and sketchers and video makers and photographers. Or writing, I guess. That's important too. Even though a lot of people seem to think that that's all that art is, is those four categories. Or five. 
How many did I say? I legitimately just forgot. So for example, let's say you love to paint, you also love stories, but you honestly do enjoy painting more than you enjoy stories, but they're, 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 they're like that close to each other out of a, they're like, what? I don't know if that made any sense at all. But now there's a profession that would suit you perfectly, you would love it, and that is a storyboard artist. If you're a storyboard artist, you are basically making the movie. You are the one that reads the story and then shares the story in a way that other people can see and understand. And honestly, that's one of the reasons that I love video so much is because there was so much that just falls under the banner of filmmaking. There's so much more than just the director and producer and camera guy and script writer. And I know that I'm still trying to figure out exactly where underneath that tent that I belong. I'm leaning more towards director of photography just because I love making shots look good. But on the other hand, I love working with color so I can totally pass it. Anyway, I'm getting off, I'm not getting off subject. My point in all of, <laughs> What is my point in all of this? I don't even know. My point in all of this is that I think that you should do what you love to do. And if that makes you money, that's awesome. If it makes you enough money to be able to do it as your full-time job, you are an incredibly lucky person and that is amazing. And if you don't earn enough money with it for it to be your full-time job, then that's awesome too, because it means that it is purely your passion that drives you to do this. At this point in time, that's why I make these videos. I don't earn a lot of money from these. The only reason that I'm doing these is because I genuinely love to do it. I can probably tell I'm feeling really passionate right now. I'm just, you know that fire that you feel when you like burns down here when you're really into something? I'm feeling that right now. I love this. So much! The great thing about living now is that I can pretty much guarantee that there is a profession doing what you love to do. Heck, you can be a professional cup stacker. Yeah! Let's say you're really passionate about something that there's definitely not a job for, like... Uh, licking doorknobs. <laughs> well then good for you! You lick those doorknobs! Do what you're passionate about now, don't put it off till you're retired, because... You don't know how much time you have. I don't know how much time I have left. Do something with your life that you will not regret doing. Whammo. Yes, I am wearing pajama pants. Don't you judge me like that. Whoo! Yeah! I am proud of that. I am proud of that message. I, that was not planned. That was all up to the top of my head. I'm really excited. Wow! I, I think I'm gonna do more videos like this, where it's just spur of the moment, off the top of my head, just... Yeah! <laughs> just, yeah! And now close Chrome, turn your screen off, and go figure out what you're passionate about, and go do it! Just do it! Make your dreams come true!